What's going on guys? It's time to put the first mow on this uh, fescue yard. It's uh, been, I think I seeded at the end of last month or the beginning of this month. I'd have to look at my book to know, but uh, I seeded it and I uh, put a starter fertilizer on a liquid starter and I wasn't real happy with what it was doing. So I went ahead and, and threw down a uh, prilled fertilizer with some iron on it. Popped out pretty fair on the color. It's growing pretty good too. Um, I went ahead with the blower and blew the yard off. It's uh, still full of pine cones, the worthless fruit of the pine tree. It's like pine nuts in my pesto. I wonder where they are. I don't know. But anyway. I got most of the pine cones blown out and some of this pine straw blown off the ground. I'm going to come mow it with the walker mower to suck some of this stuff up and try to be gentle on it. I've, I've waited about as long as I think my customer is going to be patient on cutting this. But let's see how tall it is. I've got it all laid over from mowing it, but let's, I don't know, can you see that? Pretty tall. Anyway, I got some problem spots to have to address. Well, let's walk on over there and look at them. Um, got a couple little spots that didn't come up, and then a, a dog lives up here, too. Dog wrecks it. You can tell kind of the path the dog runs right there behind my head, actually. But I got this little spot over here. It didn't do diddly. But uh, I see I see a couple. Well, I see one glaring issue. I don't know if it's going to show up in video cam or not. But about every inch of this is dug up by a mole. Jeez, I don't know if I can get. Ah, action camera work. See that? Where are you, you little son of a gun? We'll try something out for him too. And uh, I am bringing my aerator, so I'm not gonna be able to aerate that. Plus there's a, uh, the wire for the uh, landscape lights runs through there somewhere. So I don't wanna cut that off. But I got another little handy tool. The idea I ripped off from somebody else a couple years ago and, and love it, I've used it ever since. But uh, I'll show you that too. All right, stay tuned. <laughs> What's going on guys? It's Master Horticulturalist and YouTube superstar Paul Outlaw here. I got like 15 subscribers, you can't mess with me. This is exciting for people at home, I'm sure. Nobody watches this crap anyway. Everybody, please go subscribe to Paul's Prime Cuts on YouTube. He's getting up there on the subscriber count. And uh, you know, uh, Paul has these little hidden gems if you've never seen his videos. One, he is absolutely hilarious. Uh, he's incredibly funny. And two, he knows exactly what he's doing. And he does things very, very, very well. I never watch one of Paul's videos and I'm like, nah, I wouldn't have done it that way. Uh, so it's, it's awesome to see, you know, even from the beginning of his videos to where he is now, um, you know, I mean, he really shares just a ton of knowledge. And uh, so it's a lot of fun to watch your videos, Paul. You're probably one of my uh, top five YouTubers to tune into. So. Are you sure you were watching the right channel? <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, I went live with the actual Mo. That's the first time I've ever used YouTube Live, and you could tell. I apologize to the couple people that had to watch that. But anyway, I appreciate y'all tuning in and throwing some comments up there. Anyway, well, that's... I was after it's mowed down a bit and sucked up with the walker to walker. I guess it looks all right now, but this is a lot of wheel tracks to leave in it. They make a kit to set that center tire for that walker to trail behind the uh, drive tire so you don't leave so many tracks in it. But uh, we're gonna go check out the uh, mole issue over here and, and do a couple things to that. Okay, what I'm gonna do in this small spot 
So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and put some seed on it and uh, then use my, uh, check this thing out. Weasel cultivator to weasel it in. Stole the hell out of this idea from Pete Denny. It's a darn good one too. Anyway, I'll get that done. Show you a little bit of that in action. I could load up my spreader, but I gotta drag it all out of the trailer. So I'm just gonna throw this stuff out by hand. And broadcasting. All right, I need both hands to do this. All right, one-handed weaseling, much less left-handed weaseling, is difficult. But I work that seed in with it. Then I can't. I guess you kind of get the idea of what it does. This thing works great. I'm gonna set the phone down and and get a little work done here. All right, I think you kind of get the idea. Of the weasel will turn that stuff up and kind of. Put the seed in the ground instead of just leaving it right up on top of the ground but i did the uh harder moss spots and just uh dug that stuff up and put the seed in um i left some of these mold tunnels undisturbed it's got a little bit of grass actually going on over here and i didn't want to weasel it up but also i want a few of these tunnels to get get to with my with my baits all right, here's another thing. These spots, like right up here next to the sidewalk, are really hard. So I'm weaseling them to break them up and uh, threw the seed on it. And then you just kind of use the seed back in there. And you like run over, work it into the ground. I can't really do this one-handed because it's hard to not do anything. So I got to put put the full force on it. So I turn this off and do some actual work. All right, back over here in Mold Town. If there was any uh, mystery to what this product does, it kills moles, supposedly. I don't know. I'm gonna open it up. It's just to poke a little hole. I'm opening and holding at the same time. That's what it look like. And you poke your hole and stick your worm in there. All right, so let's find an active tunnel. I don't know how active they are. They all look pretty active to me. Poke your little hole in it, it's there. simply get your worm out of the mold. This looks like the old, well, geez, sorry. This looks like the old, uh, I used to remember a toy like this where you made uh, rubber bugs. Mm, got my worm in there. And pinch the hole back closed. We'll do that a few other spots around and hopefully we'll get our guy. All right, so we put the first mow on this one, and I went around and fixed some of the spots that weren't uh, germinating like I wanted to, and added some extra seed, and used the weasel on them, and hopefully we uh, poisoned our mole. But anyway, that's just a little bit about, uh, you know, what you do when you come back and visit these uh, fescue yards for the first mow, and that's, that's pretty much typical of what we'll do for all of them, except for the mole part, hopefully. But, you know, you always have a few little bare spots to fix up and that kind of thing. There you go. Halloween's tomorrow. This is not too scary. Anyway, don't forget about our 1,000 subscriber giveaway. We got uh, a Meharan hat, um, Walker wear, a Bobcat 72-inch mower t-shirt, and a uh, black chemical handling gloves from Jeremy Schwarkes. But anyway, man, come on and subscribe and let's go ahead and give this stuff away because the shirt's been riding around in my car for a while. So when you get it, it might be a little funky from truck travel. Anyway, thanks for watching 
And if you watched that live video, I'm sorry. Anyway, we'll see you next time.